Here we go with the history by Floris. Book 2, chapter 21, in the middle of it. Nobis, dative or abrative, uh, two or for us or by us. Quadrigente, 400, Amplius, more naves. So, Amplius, there was more than 400 ships to us, with us. Uh, Ducente, you can see this is 200. There's a difference in the text. One has non-post and the other goes minus. So, we'll just go Ducente minus Hostium. So, there was uh, less than 200 of the enemies, Hostium. But numerum magnitudo, magnitudo is the nominative, so said magnitudo, but the number of them, pensabated for the numerum, so compensated for the number of them. So obviously, well, we had 400, and they had um, 200, amplius to us, minus to the enemy. The size of their ships are made up for the difference in the number. Okay, quippy, sense, a census, we've got another difference in manuscripts. So, uh, actually, from six, from Senus, and uh, in with the accusative we've got in the lobe. So, since from six into nine, ordinates rows, uh, remorum of rowers. Uh, remors are oars or the people who row the oars. Um, ad hoc, add to this, ad hoc. Uh, Turribuses with uh, turrets and tabulatus. These are stories, or as you have, like you know, stories of a building. So, um, ad levate, these means they are lifted up. This is a continuing on from this. So, uh, castellorum vel urbe specchi. So, specchi is the appearance, and vel here is just meaning ords as a preposition, I'm guessing. So, Castellums means of castles and or of cities. So basically, it's going quippy. Since uh, the rows of um, the, the ordinos, the rows of the rowers went from six to nine. This is the magnitude we're talking about, the size of their ships. And add to this, uh, they were with turrets and with uh, stories built up, uh, a levite lifting them up um, in the appearance of castles or of cities. Uh, non Sine gematu, gematu means groaning, it's the ablative going with sine, not to be confused with the um, word for allow. So, not without the groaning of the sea, the maris, and labore, by or in labor, ventorum of the winds, uh, ferabato. So, these are being uh, born or carried, basically. So, these were big ships in magnitude, they had the appearance of castles probably because they've got these turrets and these stories and of cities, they were so big. And as they were ferabarting, as they were moving along, it was not with that groaning of the sea and the labour of the wind was um, being heard. Que, which, quidem indeed, or even, ipsum moles, this is the mass itself. Uh, moles is, just means a mass. Fuit exito was their end, or the, so the, the very destruction of themselves or their end was in the, the molas, the mass of them. Caesaris knaves, plural, the ships of Caesar, of Caesar. A binai regim were from uh, two of roar of rowers in Senos, in Medicis, into six. Contrasted with these other ones, they went from, um, what was it, uh, from six into nine. And so Caesar's ships go from two rows of roar, rowers, or oarsmen, whatever you want to call them, into six neck amplius and there was neck amplius means there was no more uh ordinates these are the rows of these uh oarsmen <laughs> and crevrant this is how it increased increased from two to six crevrant means increased itiqui and so or and so accordingly habitites there's another difference here we've got habiles which means easy to handle uh in omnia quae uses poscarat so they were habilis, easy to use in everything which uses, use uh, demanded. So whatever the, they needed to be done, whatever the use demanded, uh, they were steerable or movable in, in everything. Add impetus to an attack and recursus flexus qui capiendus and to taking a recourse, going backwards and flexus is uh, bending. Um, so if they needed to come forwards or to take a retreating action, they were habiles, they were man manoeuvrable. Um, Ilas gravis, oh, this is an E, doesn't really matter. 
Uh, they were heavy. This is the, the Ilas. These are the other ones, the former, uh, were heavy. And ad omnia pre peditas. And to everything, this will probably be used again. To all uses, they were uh, pre peditas. Uh, means their feet were encumbered. Um, obviously, ships don't have feet, so they were hindrous. They were hindered, you might want to say. Um, so these former ones, very heavy, and to all uses, they were hindered. A singulus pluris adorte, misillibus. So plures, many, adorta, uh, attacked, singulus, uh, the single ships. So these single ships were of huge magnitude, remember, but uh, Caesar, he had smaller ships, but a large number of them, and plures, many of them would attack the single ones, misillibus, with missiles, or whatever they were throwing. Simul, same time, rostrous with their beaks. These are made out of iron, I believe. The rostrous, this big beak that sticks out of the ship and you ram it into the other one. So they throwing missiles and ramming them. Ad hoc, and to this, uh, ignibus yactus, having thrown fire. This would be fire brands or maybe out of catapults. Yactus implies it was thrown. Um, ad arbitrin disapavorant. So that's just the shortened version of... Uh, they dissipated these ships... At Arbitrum, at their will, uh, at, their, at their own discretion. And we'll have a daily dictionary from the Latin is simple. Uh, Prepeditas is the participle, past passive participle, of female accusative plurals, prepeditas. The shackle fetter, tie by extremity, hinder, obstruct, impede, which is what we use here in this literal sense, it was to entangle the feet. Okay, so that's out of the way, the daily dictionary. So... Uh, nec ulla rei, neither was there any matter, more hostilium copiarum apparent. So neither was there anything more apparent, uh, magnitude of the magnitude, more, magus, of the copiousness or the, uh, the forces of the enemy. So the magnitude of the size of the enemy. Uh, so neither was this more apparent, quam, than post victorium. Um, post takes the accusative. So... After the victory, it was very apparent the magnitude uh, regarding the size of the enemy uh, ships and combat combatants. Quippy, we'll just go to sense again. Immense, really means huge. Classis is the fleet. Norfragium, since the immensity of the fleet of shipwrecks, uh, Norfragium means broken ships, so they weren't really shipwrecked, they were ships broken up. Uh, the immense size of these are bello factum from the war. Factum uh, means it was done, so it was or created. There was a uh, toto mari ferbate. So uh, this um, the broken up bits of the ship. It looks like they were ferbated toto mari through the whole sea. They were carried about, uh, and there's an immense amount of it. Looks like uh, because of the war. Arabum qui in sabiorum et mili al alarum asia gentium. Um, so there was of Arabs and Sabiorums, who are these people? Um, Sabians and a thousand of other ra races of uh, Asia. So these are uh, describing a people. Uh, there were spoilia, spoils of these, of these, and Aliaram Asia is another double genitive. So the spoils, there was Papura, which is purple, so it's usually clothing. Oraque in liter. Um, and with gold, uh, in liter usually means smeared or something like that. So it looks like there were spoils, purple and gold smeared or inlaid um, garments maybe. Assidue is probably the adverb, means constantly. Mote ventus, by the motion of the wind. Maria. Maria is actually a neuter, so this would be new. the seas were re vomit abandoning. They say that the seas kept spewing up all these spoils basically from all these people after all these huge shipwrecks. Prima, first of all, ducks fugue regina. Looks like ducks and regina are the nominative. So, with the uh, queen being the leader, fugue of flight, uh, she was leading the flight. I guess her ship hasn't sunk. Cum aurea pupae. Pupae is like the stern or deck of a ship. So with on a golden top of a ship. Velo qui purpura in altum dedit. So she gave with her 
purple sail of Velo is usually the big sails, those things that catch wind. Uh, so she's got a golden deck and uh, purple sails. She gave it into Altum, which means the deeper waters. So she took to the sea in flight. Mox, soon, Secutus Antonius. Antonius followed. He's taking this US with Antonius. But, instare vestigus Caesar. But Caesar was instarring on his tracks, on his footprints. There's obviously no footprints for a ship. Instar means he was pressing on it or close behind into his, uh, the vestiges of the tracks. Itaqui. And so, neck, neither or not. Preparata in ocean fuga, fuga and preparata. So this is ablative. So they're not prepared for a flight with a with a preparations for flight uh, neck. So there was so not having any prepared flight into the ocean uh, neck and neither munitia pre sedis uh, with fortified garrisons utraque either or both cornua egypti. Okay, so these cornus are. Uh, Promontories, what do they, they call them? They stick out like horns. Um, yeah, they're called promontories, I think. So both of the promontories of Egypt, that's the genitive, uh, Praetonium and Pelusium, uh, Profure means to help. So they didn't have any preparation for going to the flight, neither did they have any garrisons at each of these promontories, uh, this place and this place, uh, where they, where they, these places were helpful. <coughs> Prope manu tenabantor. So almost it could be grasped by hand or taken in hand. Prior ferum occupavit, the perfect Antonius. So Antonius was the prior. Antonius, first of all, he grabbed the ferum, which is iron, which is his sword. The Regina, she was the queen. Uh, Add peds Caesaris to the feet of Caesar, pro voluta. So the Regina. The queen had provoluted. She'd rolled about in front of uh, the feet of Caesar. Tempt of it, the oculus ducis. Tempting the eyes of the leader or trying to get the attention of the eyes of the leader of Caesar. Frustra quidem. So indeed it was in vain. Frustra's in vain. Even or indeed it was in vain. For pulchrutudo. This is the nominee. For the beauty infra. Uh, he's been below. Pudicitam principis fuit. Okay. Her beauty was below the pudicia of the principis, of the leader. Um, this can mean some sort of modesty, but it's uh, self control here, pudicitia. So beauty wasn't able to win, it was uh, infra below, not, not to the par. Neck, Illa. Neither was Illa, she being the queen. Dei Vita, concerning a life, quay offer about which she offered. So neither was she, concerning her life which she offered, said, De parte, uh, we've got another difference here, it should be regni. Uh, but she was laborat, she, this is imperfect, she was laboring, uh, not concerning her life which she offered, but for part of her kingdom. That's what she was most distressed about when she was rolling around in front of his feet. Quod ubi. Let's see, the because or which, uh, ubi when, despair of it. So, uh, which when she was despairing a principi from this, uh, from the prince, from Caesar, um, servari qui se triumpho vidit. I say, this is what's happening, she's seeing. Um, say herself being preserved, servare for a triumph, triumpho. Um, she despaired of anything from the from Caesar. In court, Teorem, the comparative, Nankta. This comes from Nanka score, which means she saw, obtained, or uh, come across. She saw the incautious the guards, basically, custodians. Um, and so, in mausoleum, say, sepulchre regum sic vocan in brackets, recapit. So, here she is, she's recapiting, say, she took herself into the mausoleum after she had obtained. Um, or gap here in, in with the guards weren't paying attention. Uh, sepulchra regum sic vocant, which means the royal sepulchre is thus called a ma mausoleum. Ibi maximus ut solabent, as she was accustomed to do in duta, usually means you put on something you're wearing, cultus, maximus cultus, I'm guessing, go together. She put on this um, yeah, elaborate gear, 
as she usually did, in Referto Odoribus Solio. Solio can mean a chair. Uh, since it's in a tomb, this would be the, um, what do you call those big coffins that they have made out of rock, probably um, some sort of a sarcophagus, maybe. So with uh, Odoribuses, this would be like incenses and things. Referto is a past passive, so it'd be packed in into the um, the coffin. Yuxta suum se conlocavited. So she conlocavated it, say, herself. She placed herself, Yuxta, next to her Antonius, suum Antonius, next to Antony. And ad motus qui, looks like dative or ablative plural, ad venus to a veins serpentibus. So this would be ablative absolute. Ad motibus serpentibus. So having moved serpents to a veins, sic thus morte in the death or in death, quasi somno, as if into sleep, she saluta est it. Uh, she dissolved into sleep. She, uh, she passed away into death as if asleep. Mm. Hic finis. With this finished... This this was the end. Amorum civil, double gender, of the civil taking up of arms. This was the end of the civil war. Reliqua, the rest, remainder, adverse, against, ex terris gentes, external races, external tribes or peoples. Quae, which districto circumalo suo imperia, um, diversis orbis oris imicabent. Imicabent means it, it arose suddenly. So the... Empire had its own marlots, had its own problems. It was diverse, so it was divided up. Um, and there were different different wars then in, against foreign people in different parts, orbits of the world. And the empire had its sewer marlot, its own evils or problems. Uh, and as again, a mechabant just means it appeared suddenly or came about. Mm. Nova Quippy Pack, so... There's a new piece, a new pax since this happened. Uh, Nectum, not yet. Ad suita, the uh, accustomed frenus. These are reins you put on horses. Uh, servitudus. So not yet the customary reins of servitude. Tumide gentium inflatiqui services. So tumide means swollen. Gentium is of the races in flata. Again, there's, it's like ter termi, so they're swollen and swollen. Next to the you want to say the big and uh, haughty necks of races who had not yet been accustomed to reins of servitude. Um, ab imposito nupo nupa yugo. So ab imposito yugo is from these impo this imposed uh, yokes, basically. Nupa mean recently. So they were resyllabating. They were um, fighting back, basically, or something. These are uh, races... Which weren't, which had recently had their necks imposed on with a yoke. Mm, that's it, is it? Um, Absep temptrenionems. Uh, ab with an accusative, we don't usually see that. Oh, that's supposed to be ad, I guess. Does that make sense? Uh, to the north, Septeptrion is the north. I think they have northern stars or something there. Firme, plaga. Plaga here means the regions. Firme means almost. Um, so most of these regions were to the north. Conversa means turned or in that direction. Ferocious agebat. So the m most ferocious which conducted themselves were a bunch of these people who in English are Norricans. Illyrians, I've heard of them, the Pannonians, the Dalmatians, Dacians actually. Is that supposed to be Dalmatians? No, it's not. It's supposed to be Del. I wish they'd write this all in one agreement. Uh, Delmate, okay. Uh, the Dalmatians, the Mosey, the Thracians, the Dacai, the Dacians, Samate, and Germans. Okay, that's it for the day.